Her name was Betty. She cooked spaghetti. And the sauce that she prepared was the color of her hair. She made lasagna and the manicotti. And the shrimp that she would fry, it'd bring a teardrop to your eye. A rigatoni too, followed by mushroom soup. There was a bit too much oregano in her Irish stew down at Betty's Betty, house, of house of spaghetti. Her cousin's Marie Albaghetti yeah. down at Betty's, Betty's house of spaghetti. Great ravioli and lots of cannoli down at Betty. We ate our lunch. Betty's house of spaghetti. His name was Guido. He ordered the pizza. He was escorted to his chair. He saw Betty standing there. So when she finished, he called her Rover. So Betty bopped him in the head with a large Italian rip. And then the meatballs flew, followed by eggplant too. There was a plum and a single kumquat. But just who bopped who down at Betty's? House of spaghetti. Her brothers, that chef Guy Fieri, down at Betty. House of spaghetti. Great ravioli and lots of cannoli down at Betty. They fought with lunch. House of spaghetti. Let me tell you how this ended up, right? You're not gonna believe this. Her name was Betty, like I said. She cooks forget. But that was 30 years ago when she used to run the show. Now it's a Denny's. And poor old Betty. She just sits alone and cries while she eats a giant fries and thinks that days gone by and all the shrimp she fry. She lost a youth and a rigatoni. Now she's lost a freaking mind down at Betty's. Betty's House of Spaghetti. House of spaghetti. Her cousin's Marie Albaghetti. Yeah. Down at Betty's. Betty's House of Spaghetti. Great ravioli and lots of cannoli down at Betty's. Hey, listen, go get some lunch, all right? Denny's ain't that bad, you know? You go see the assistant manager, Murray, you tell him Frankie sent you, he's gonna hook you up with some good, you know, sauce and maybe even a cannoli, okay? See you later.